Hello, do you know that as an employer, a new piece of legislation came into effect in Ireland in 2014 called the Protected Disclosures Act. Uh, it has very, very significant consequences for employers. Basically, it aims to provide protection to employees against dismissal for having made what's called a protected disclosure. It's basically sort of whistleblowing legislation and has come in on foot of, I suppose, a lot of the uh, controversies surrounding the various Garda whistleblowers like uh, John Wilson and Morris McCabe. It was probably in the pipeline before they came on the scene, but certainly they provided the impetus to it. Basically, it provides protection to employees such as immunity from civil liability and the right of action in tort against anyone who causes the employee detriment as a result of having made a protected disclosure. A protected disclosure involves the disclosure of information by a worker which he believes shows relevant wrongdoing and which came to his attention through his employment. Relevant wrongdoing is fairly broadly defined in the legislation. Um, it sets out various examples of relevant wrongdoing, such as that an offence has been committed or is likely to be committed, that a person has failed um, to comply with any legal obligations other than arising under their contract of employment, that a miscarriage of justice has occurred, that the health and safety or safety of any individual is being or has been or is likely to be endangered. There's, as I say, a fairly wide range of relevant wrongdoings which can be reported and which are protected on, under the Protected Disclosures Act. Breaches of the Act then, if an employee, for example, was dismissed for making a protected disclosure, he or she could be awarded up to five years um, salary as compensation. This is in stark contrast to the maximum of two years, which is allowed for under unfair dismissals legislation. Another big difference with the unfair dismissals legislation, and one which should be very significant and very worrisome indeed for employers, is the fact that there isn't a service requirement of 12 months to make or to obtain or have the protection the employee is protected from the first day and indeed first week of their employment. So if a disclosure was made in the first day or first week, and it could well happen, then the employee is protected. The employee can also uh, seek interim relief from the circuit court, preventing them from being dismissed pending the hearing of their claim for unfair dismissal as a result of a protected disclosure. Employers are understandably worried about this as it affords a degree of protection to employees which could be abused to prevent dismissal on reasonable and fair grounds unrelated to the protected disclosure. Employers are also concerned that employees are protected where they wrongly believe that particular information is true. In other words, the information could be inaccurate and the employee could be simply mistaken. However, the Act does not give the employee carte blanche to carry on any way they like and then seek the protection of the legislation by making a disclosure. Also, the Act will not protect an employee where the employee fails to comply with his own legal obligations under his contract of employment. Nevertheless, employers would be well advised to treat very, very carefully any complaints that are alleged to be made under this particular legislation and probably there should be a separate policy or procedure in the workplace for complaints under this legislation and for the normal grievances that you might have dealt with under a grievance procedure. It is easy to imagine situations where an employee's personal grievance or complaint could allegedly link to a broader public interest workplace concern. As I say, that's why employers will need clear and separate policies dealing with both grievances and with protected disclosures. An employer will have a hard time defending a claim that an employee is being penalised for making a protected disclosure in the absence of a clear policy for protected dis disclosures for whistleblowing, essentially. My name is Terry Gorry, I'm a solicitor in Enfield in County Meath, and on my website, uh, employmentrightsireland.com, 
you can pick up a free uh, booklet, um, which just a free report basically, which sets out the 16 most common mistakes that employers in Ireland make and which cause them a lot of money uh, and a lot of time and a lot of concern. Thanks for watching.